And they're off. Rock and Roll Hanover from mid-pack is pacing out two of the lead. Village Jolt from the inside. Team Hutch is pushed into the early action. Leading example is up close early. And Stonebridge Regal gets away fifth, angling for the pylons on the opening turn. Georgia Biggs is sixth on the outside. Load the dice is racing in seventh. Cam's Fool is in the developing cover flow. All-American Inca comes away ninth. American Ideal tenth on the outside, trailing the field. And Village Jolt is on the lead. Team Hutch is in behind him. Rock and Roll Hanover right there third. The opening quarter and 26 and 2 and here comes rock and roll as Sears makes his move right now up and after Village Jolt as they head down the back stretch leading example on the inside is fourth and Stonebridge Regal is first over for Mosaev on the outside Cam's Fool gaps his cover slightly load the dice on the inside races in seventh as they head down the back stretch further back all American Inca leading example off stride leading example off stride and going wide to avoid him was Cam's Fool the half and 54 and 3 and it's rock and roll Hanover who leads it onto the far turn. Stonebridge Regal parked first over, just sitting there right now off his wheel. On the inside is Village Jolt, is in the pocket racing in third. Team Hutch getting a nice trip, is towing along on the inside fourth. And George and Biggs is fifth on the outside, gapping the cover as Rock and Roll continues to lead it, coming to three quarters. Village Jolt, great trip, tracking him all the way in the pocket. Stonebridge Regal first over, still two lengths from the lead. American Ideals gearing up from the back of the pack on the outside. Three quarters in one, 21 and three, and Rock and Roll Hanover is pouring it on with an eighth of a mile to go. It's Rock and Roll Hanover. He's clear by three. Village Jolt is second. Stonebridge Regal third. American Ideal fourth on the outside. Rock and Roll is here to stay. Brian Sears, Brett Pelling, Rock and Roll Hanover in the Meadowlands pace in one, 48 and three. Village Jolt second, tight for third. quickly turned into a brilliant stallion western ideal out of the great broodmare rich and elegant by direct scooter owned by jeff snyder and lothlorian equestrian center of new york and ontario brett pelling with his fourth meadowlands pace and brian sears the leading driver at the big m the leading money winning driver in north america he's become the man and he has just won his first meadowlands pace results official and it's rock and roll hanover Rock and Roll Hanover, a $190,000 yearling purchase, has made harness racing history. This is his third million-dollar victory in his brief career. Sarah Scott, his caretaker, in the winner's circle as well as the trophy presentation and the winner's circle ceremonies begin. The king of rock and roll, Bruce Fillion from Marion, Ohio, and his wife Kathy, trackside as well, congratulating the winning connections. This win makes Rock and Roll the richest pacer ever trained by Brett Pelling. He was ranked number two on the experimental ratings going into the season. Jeff Snyder, of course, with three pace finalists, first man to ever do that, his second pace victory. Co-owner, 88-year-old Audrey Campbell, Lothlorien Equestrian Center. One year younger than Thomas Dexter, who in 1989 made his only pace start with Dexter Nukes at age 89. So Rock and Roll Hanover has won the North America Cup for Jeff Snyder, Pelling and Sears, and now he's taken the Meadowlands pace, fastest pace ever, stakes record 148 and 3. In a very happy winner's circle, Carl Goldberg, the chairman of the New Jersey Sports and Exposition Authority, along with director of Standard Bread Racing, Tad Stockman, will make the trophy presentation to the Snyder family. Trainer Brett Pelling, driver Brian Sears, and the winning connections of Rock and Roll Hanover, Bob Hollywood Hayden with Winner Circle Reaction momentarily. <laughs>